Okay, we have Five of Swords. This Five of Swords is all about, you know, being determined to do something. This could be you want to win at all costs to do something. Could be to, you know, defeat somebody. You know, you could have been dealing with this type of Five of Swords energy. Somebody was determined to try to defeat you or sabotage you because they were jealous, envious. And they were somebody that was mentally unstable. You know, they were being controlled by entities, you know, as they were binded and blinded to the devil. And they wanted to, you know, try to sabotage you in some type of way. Or this could also be, you know, just someone is determined. This could be you that's determined. Someone else is determined to try to contact you with this page of wands on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, they want to communicate with you, connect with you in some type of way. So you could receive a message from this person. Yeah, this King of Cups is here. This is someone that, you know, is emotionally balanced. They, you know, have emotions for you, you know, have a love for you. They care for you and they want to, you know, express that to you, like have a heart to heart conversation with you, with this King of Cups. This is someone that's very giving. And they're determined to, con you know, communicate with you. Judgment is here. They could have been receiving karma. This could be good karma or bad karma. Judgment, you know, in an upright could be either or. Good karma or bad karma. And they could have received some type of karma. Yeah. Ten of Cups is here. They've made judgment on what they want with you. They want to, you know, they see you as the ultimate happiness. You make this person happy, Ten of Cups. And this person is in love with you. Yeah, Three of Pentacles is here. They want to build on something with you. So this could be a new person that you haven't, you know, been in, you know, been in any type of situation shit with. This could be someone that's new coming in that, you know, they genuinely have love for you. They want to build something with you. They see you as the ultimate happiness. They want to build happiness with you. And they've called judgment on that. They're determined to, you know, connect with you, communicate with you. Knight of Cups in the reverse. So it's like this person don't want you to think that they're trying to finesse you or love bomb you. So it's like this person is thinking a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. A lot of people didn't want you all to connect with each other. It was a lot of people that, you know, they didn't have... They didn't want any connect. This three of pentacles could be others working behind the scenes that knew this person wanted to build with you. They wanted to connect with you, but they didn't want y'all to connect. Knight of cups in the reverse. And they're receiving karma. As your person stayed attached to them, they were receiving karma and they didn't understand why when they just wanted to be happy. They thought these people were helping them is what I'm, you know, getting. Yeah, they wanted to get your attention. Six of wands. You, this person that's in love with you and they went to different third parties behind the scenes to try to get help and they didn't end up doing nothing but receiving karma. This could have been family with this Ten of Cups that they thought would, you know, help them connect with you. And they realized these people didn't have no love for them and didn't want them to connect with you because they could have knew you had genuine love for them. They didn't want this person to be ultimately happy. These are people that possibly, you know, were bitter and they, they're not happy in their life, so they didn't want your person to know or this person, this new person that's coming towards you to know that they weren't happy and they didn't want them to be happy. They were determined to five of swords sabotage this connection. Yeah, sabotage all communication because they didn't want y'all to connect with each other. Yeah, the sun is here. A lot of stuff came to light and a lot of stuff got exposed and then seven of swords. They thought they were smarter than you and this person being sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes. They were lying to this person, cheating this person, being disloyal to this person. But this needed to happen so this person can know 
who these people were that they were showing love to, no matter if it was family or who. They needed to be exposed because your person wants to be happy. And these are people that don't want them to be happy or didn't want them to be happy, so they needed to get exposed. The sun card is here. This was supposed to happen. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles is here because you and your person are supposed to come together and create this generational wealth. They could have sat back and thought that they would, you know, keep, try to be attached to your person or keep your person away from you because of a Ten of Pentacles. But your person is, they, 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 they thinking that, looking at this as money. This is angels and these are your ancestors. You know, legacies, inheritance, different gifts and stuff that your ancestors give you once you do the work to heal cleanse all negative energy and detach and walk in your own energy they didn't know that because they you know these people could be somebody that's you know very low vibrational they're out in the cold they don't know about spirituality they could be more traditional and um, they didn't know that traditional mindset was a curse and a hex to keep people pent down for harsh painful endings and stuck in a confused mindset yeah two of cups is here they knew that both of y'all had love for each other. Y'all were supposed to work together, partner up. And this, this Ten of Pentacles is only for you and your Two of Cups. Two of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. This don't have nothing to do with them. It's like your person just stayed around them learning lessons and receiving karma. Yeah, so they can love their self. Finally take care of their self and show their self some love. Ace of Cups. It starts with you. Your person is in love with you. They knew that you were in love with your person or had love for your person and it was mutual. They knew this. Yeah, they knew that you guys were equal. Equal give and take. Six of Pentacles. And it's like whatever they secretly tried to do to you, it just came back on them tenfold. Because your person was attached to these people that were family, that didn't want y'all to be together. This has happened. I'm hearing this has happened, you know, a lot of lifetimes. Y'all had to been, you know, in love, mutual feelings, strong connection, deep connection with each other each lifetime. And this family would do this. They would try to get in between this connection because they didn't want, you know, they didn't want you and your person to love because they didn't have that type of love. They didn't have nobody wanting to be equal with them or no one that was, you know, giving to them. And it was equal give and take, balance, yin and yang. They didn't have that. So they wanted to sabotage it each lifetime. And they're in that same energy that they need to heal. Yeah, Queen of Swords is here and that's the truth. You're someone that's very smart. You know a, a lot of knowledge. You've gained a lot of knowledge. You quick to speak the truth and cut off things that no longer serve purpose in your life. You cut out all BS and you like honesty. These people are people that's disloyal. They're sneaky and deceptive. So your person could not come around you as they were still attached to this family or different people that had them under judgment. That was disloyal to them. Your person is realizing that as they started loving their self, taking care of their self. They know that you're their two of cups. That's why they're, you know, determined to contact you, connect with you, communicate with you. And they're not in this knight of cups energy where they just want to come and connect with you, love bomb you, finesse you. They're at the king of cups. Emotionally mature, emotionally balanced after going through all of this. Stuff that they didn't even know. It was all done at the seven of swords, sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes by people that they thought were helping them genuinely. Yeah, it didn't do nothing but weigh them down. Ten of Wands. Pressure them. Have them feeling burdened. They could have sat back and got behind the scenes because you are someone that speaks the truth. You spoke the truth to your person or that's just how you are with all people because you like honesty. You're very honest. And they wanted to have you weighed down. A lot of stuff in your face that you could not see and a lot of stuff on your back that you could not weigh. And they're just, you know, sitting back under judgment receiving karma. Because you're someone that's very equal. So it's like whatever they did to you, it came back on you, came back on them tenfold. Whatever you did good came back on you tenfold. And they didn't get that. They're at the ten of wands feeling weighed down in pressure and burdened. Because they didn't even have to do none of the stuff that they did. 
these are people that are, you know, stuck on old traditions and trying to sit back and take control of somebody else's life, determined to try to sabotage somebody because they're not happy. They're walking in toxicity, walking in, you know, under mind control by entities that they, you know, that are placed on them that they need to be healing and slaying. That's attached to them. They want to keep it attached to your person, but your person is in love with you. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Your person is someone that's committed. You know, they look at you as someone that's very hardworking, loyal, committed. You know, a mother, a wife, very stable, money-oriented, jack of all trades. And this is what your person always wanted. So a lot of people around them, they didn't have that. They didn't have nobody that will, you know, be at the Six of Pentacles give, coming in equal with them. No. These are people that possibly always in relationships where they were given though they were giving love and not getting it back, you know, chasing this person down in different energies that they weren't trying to heal. And they wanted your person to stay in that energy because they were secretly trying to sabotage your person, secretly envious and jealous of your person in this connection. Because they knew it would be equal give and take. Yes, Ace of Wands. They were jealous and envious of this connection, this new passionate connection that you and your person have. This new beginning that you and your person have. Jealous because your person wanted to take action towards you and they thought they would sit back and make your person think, hey, we're going to help you and this and that. And they were sabotaging the connection behind the scenes. Your person didn't do nothing but receive karma. With these people. Yeah, and they ended up having to ghost them. The hermit card is here. Go within and investigate their self. Don't even be around people. Your person is in hermit mode. They don't even want to be around people. They're in hermit mode because they know they want to take action towards you and they want to have a passionate connection with you. They want to have this new beginning with you. Ace of Wands. This made your person go in hermit mode and don't even want to be around nobody. And they could be sitting back watching you jealous and intimidated and mad at you because of whatever they did in a sneaky, deceptive way came to light and they got exposed and made your person want to go in hermit mode. And you're minding your business in this Queen of Pentacles energy. Very stable. Speaking the truth, Queen of Swords. Very equal with people. And they're trying to sit back and project their energy off onto you and your person because they don't want to heal. Your person is realizing all this and they don't have any love for the people that they were coming in quick with love for no more. Knight of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, they're in this King of Pentacles energy. King and Queen of Pentacles. This is a marriage. They want to commit to you. They see you as someone that's very loyal. Very honest. Somebody that they can trust. Somebody that's just like them. And with the Six of Pentacles, that's what people seen, and that's why they wanted to sabotage that. They just didn't want your person to know. This new person that's in love with you, that's coming, you know, want to connect with you. Yeah, the musician is here. This person is sitting back manifesting you. They're trying to manifest you, and they see you in this musician energy. You have the ability to manifest whatever it is you want out of life, and you have control over your future. Because you don't sit back and try to go to this person for advice and go to that person for advice to build your confidence, confidence up as they, you know, secretly want to build it down low because they don't want you to be confident. They don't want you to be in this, in this uh, king, or king, or, king or queen of pentacles energy, very stable and grounded, business oriented, you know, money oriented. They don't want that because it's not them. And they pr trying to project it off on you and your person and it did not work. It just kind of had them going through karma, receiving judgment, forcing them to walk away from this Ten of Cups. Groups of people that they show love to. Different family members, different friends. Everybody they had them ran across, they're looking at them at a different light now. And it's because of them. It's not even, it's not your fault. They got mad because you guys have a Ten of Pentacles and you guys are meant to, you know, partner up, work together and be together. Mutual love for each other. Y'all are soulmates. And they got mad about that. Wanted to project it off on you and your person secretly. And it did not work. Yeah, they're sitting back stressed out. Nine of swords, a mental prison in their head. 
slander, gossip, sleepless nights, and getting exposed for everything that they set back and did. As they're receiving karma. Stuff that they thought that they were doing a sneaky, deceptive way, or they're smarter than, than your person, smarter than you. And you were speaking the truth about these people. You're someone that's very honest, and they couldn't stand that because they're disloyal. Your light irritated their demons. Yeah, Tower is here. They're sitting back dealing with an overflow of bad choices because everything that they did, they didn't even have to do. They wanted to project, you know, energy that they were in, curses that they were under off onto you, and it did not work. They, they're mirroring that karma that they wanted to try to have you sitting in for being you, for being your person's divine counterpart, for being your person's soulmate, for having a ten of pentacles when you came here since birth with your person. They don't get that. They wanted to sit back and lie on you, try to have you at a mental prison in your head, have you going through tower moments just for who you are to your person. And as they were secretly doing this, that your person was going through tower moments. Everything that they were doing to you secretly, your person was going through and they couldn't understand it as y'all share the same soul. And they were, you know, attached to the people that they needed to detach from. That were, you know, trying to stay stuck to them to use them. To keep projecting their energy off onto them. Yeah, Queen of Cups is here. You're someone that's very loving, caring. You know, you pour out love to your person. They wanted you to be seen as someone that was mentally unstable, but it didn't work. They could have told lies on you and wanted you to go through tower moments. Wanted everybody to think that you were crazy for speaking the truth. You're someone that's very emotionally balanced. You don't have no mental issues. These people are at the five of swords mentally and physically and spiritually unstable. And as I said, wanted to project their energy off onto you. All because you're, you know, a queen of cups, loving, caring, very intuitive, an empath. You pour out love to people. You take care of your kids. You love your kids. And they couldn't stand it. Your light irritated their demons that they were trying to project off onto you. And they just ended up receiving karma, judgment. For everything they did to you. Yeah, Page of Pentacles is here. These are people that were very childish. They didn't have much to offer. And they wanted to project it off onto you. Yeah, they were constantly, you know, at the Page of Pentacles getting readings as well. Paying for readings on you and your person. To try to slow y'all down, Knight of Pentacles. To keep, the, you know, all movement slow. From y'all coming towards each other. Because they were mad. Knight of Swords. They thought that whatever gossip or lies they told. Being angry and mad. Because they didn't have no control. Would slow your person down from contacting you. Knight of Pentacles. These people don't have nothing else better to do. And they were determined. As they were just sitting back getting karma. Determined to get karma. And they didn't know. Yeah Six of Swords is here. Your person was divinely guided to sail away from these people. This person. I'm hearing it was a group of people that they were showing love to and they thought they were helping them. They honestly thought they were genuinely helping them. But your person sailed away from things that no longer serve purpose in their life. They were divinely guided to sail away from these people. Because they see them in this five of swords energy. Envious, jealous, mentally unstable. Yeah, they knew that this person was sailing away. And they did something to try to have this person in the hangman position. This is a, like a case in the justice system where this person would, would feel stuck and they wouldn't move forward. And your person don't even know that these people that they were showing love to, this Ten of Cups, groups of people that they show love to would do that. They didn't know that. This was a setup because they was at the Seven of Swords being sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes. Very disloyal, dishonest, cheating your person, lying to your person. And your person would just sit back, you know, receiving karma. Yeah, they did all of this to try to keep your person at a two of one stalemate, not being able to make a proper decision in life, not knowing which way to go in life, and they'll just be all at a two of ones together. This is sad. And it's like the more and more these people did this, they just sat back and received karma and judgment. Your person was receiving karma and it forced them to go in hermit mode. Not even trusting nobody, not even want to be around nobody, just focused on you. 
determined to communicate with you because they are in love with you. 